What we're going to talk about now is preventing unwanted tooth movements when you have measly tilted canines. When you have a measly tilted lower canine, which is very common, what can happen is if you use continuous arch wire, the adjacent teeth can intrude and tip, which causes problems with the occlusal plane, creating things like canting and open bites. So in this case, the doctor used continuous arch wire with the mesially tilted canine, which can intrude and tip the adjacent teeth. Here in the frontal view, you can see that a cant has been created. In this case, we have mesially tilted canines on both the right and left hand side. You can see that the left hand side is far more severe. The doctor here used continuous arch wire, which created both an anterior open bite and a cant. So rather than place continuous arch wire, a good strategy is to place a big step bend with a piggyback. The stainless steel big step bend arch wire will help you maintain the occlusal plane, while the nickel titanium piggyback arch wire will upright the tilted canine. This combination will help prevent an undesired canting or anterior open bite. Now in this case, we have a mesially tilted canine but we're going to avoid undesired changes in the occlusal plane by using the big step bend arch wire with piggyback. Here's how it is used clinically. The stainless steel big step bend arch wire will help you maintain the occlusal plane while the nickel titanium piggyback arch wire will safely upright the tilted canine. After that is completed, you can then place your continuous arch wire and do your final case finishing. Here we are after the brackets have been removed and you can see the occlusal plane is nice and level. Here's a before and after and you can really see how we were able to safely upright the mesially tilted canine while preventing canting, open bites, or any other unwanted tooth movements. And here's just a video that's going to show the big step bend in action. Now I like to use the ribbon arch player, grab the wire in the place you want the bend to be, and use your thumb to bend as close to 90 degrees as you can. Then you only need this generally to be a few millimeters, just enough for that cuss tip not to collide with the wire. Place it again, and then bend another 90 degree bend with your thumb against the plier beak. Okay, so you have a nice step up, big step bend. Okay, you know, just a handful of millimeters, whatever you need it to be. Then you only need, you know, enough space for the canine. It's got to fit between, obviously, the lateral and the first bicuspid bracket, so it has to be shorter than that inner bracket distance. Make your next bend. Then one last bend to make sure now you have your nice big step bend placed. And you can place open coil spring over that too to maintain that space. While you then have your piggyback arch wire going directly to the canine. To make sure you don't miss any of our PowerProx pointers, please subscribe at sixmonthbraces.com slash ortho tips. To learn more about our live seminars for PowerProx six month braces, please visit sixmonthbraces.com slash live seminars. To learn more about our unlimited case support and online seminars, please visit sixmonthbraces.com slash online seminars. If you prefer to call us, our phone number is 440-646-1000. To learn more about our laboratory services for PowerProx six month braces, which include digital bracket placement, 3D printed indirect bracket bonding trays, digital case setups and treatment simulation images, so you and your patients can both see the case results before you even start, IPR guides so you know the exact amount and location of any IPR that you may need, and a lot more, please visit sixmonthbraces.com slash PowerProxLab.